Everybody, I'm back for another video. I have an unboxing. All I did was cut the box and um, box it and seal it back up because I wanted to find this. It has something to do with this that I got from Franklin Kristoff oh, a few weeks ago and the video finally went up, but it's gonna be in a slightly smaller size. So let's take a look. Here's my order. Here's the box. Oh, it's in a little pouch. The larger one didn't come in a pouch. Let's see. Ooh, 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 how pretty. I might turn a fan on. <laughs> it's way too hot out. This is a field note size or a pocket TN size um, traveler's notebook. This one I got in this beautiful, what color did they call it? They were out of stock in the olive in this size. This is cranberry, uh, kind of Christmas holiday, December colors olive, green, and cranberry, like holly and ivy and the berries. <laughs> so this is pocket size. So this is a field note size insert. And you'll notice it's the same type of design as the standard. You'll see they have these lovely grommets where all of the holes are for the elastic to go through. You can see they have the same design with the squared off corners instead of rounded corners. You'll see the stitching, but you'll also see that it has kind of like secretarial pockets, which that I wasn't expecting. And so you could probably, yeah, fit an insert in like that. Or you could use it to store stickers and IDs and other ephemera, however you're planning on using this notebook. I wonder if it'll fit like an A6. <clears throat> this is a Lady Falcon Traveler um, that I've had for since like 2017 it might be too too wide yeah I thought it might be this is definitely meant for but it fits in yeah it's too big <laughs> but um, I like the fact that it does have these pockets on the side so this material, last video when I unboxed this one, I said it was a waxed canvas. It's not a waxed canvas. Um, it's a tree bark that has been processed and it's kind of like, um, I have one in here. This folder is made out of this craft text material, which is paper, but paper that you can wash. If it gets dirty, you can wash it, you can clean it, you can do all of that stuff with it. Um, but I wanted to get one field note size because I've been using this Sheik Sparrow. I've had this Sheik Sparrow probably since around 2017. It's, um, what was that leather called? Toffee? It used to be called Mr. Darcy Toffee. But now it's called 
Jane Austen, Mr. Darcy? I, I think, I don't know, I, I can't, I can't keep up. Um, you know, I'm not looking at the, their, their, their page that often anymore. Um, but I've got a bunch of Field Notes inserts in here. And... I'm gonna take these out. I've got inserts and folders and zipper pouches. And this is a little tea journal which I haven't used in a while. So, and, and it's a beautiful notebook. I think I might sell it. It's a beautiful notebook. Um, but I, I'm loving the alternative, if that makes sense, the alternative item, the alternative materials that are, that are being used now to make Traveler's Notebooks. You know, I'm, I'm loving the cork. This, um, you know, modified tree bark or paper. Um, it's just something so unique. So unique. I'll put this one in the back because it has that elastic. I'll put this one up front. This was my old no spend, low spend, which I haven't used in quite a long time. I got one more. The tea journal. We'll put it back here. Oh. What you'll see we have in here is the field notes. I think I'll start tracking again. I haven't tracked since August of last year. Maybe we'll track again starting in July. Here's the insert that came with the book. One thing that's very interesting about their inserts that they make is their paper is actually made from a type of bamboo. So it's, um, I think that means it's a little more um, sustainable. And I find that very intriguing and I love their designs. Here's the field notes, tea tag, lots of tea tags. I have a craft text folder with some of my little monthly tracking calendars that I made. A little Turbo Design cutting board I cut down. A zipper pouch. A writing board, field note size. It should, it should fit right back there. There we go. It's a beautiful notebook. I like that this one came with a a um, pouch. I know I've got some other ones that I can use with this one, but I just thought they looked really unique, and I've I've loved using this one so far. Let me get that out of the way. It's got my address. Um, I put a different zipper pouch in, and I might go back to the original mustard that I had in here, but this one looks just as nice, just as nice. Do these fit in here? Hey, they do. So that is really all I have today to show you is I wanted to share a quick little unboxing of this beautiful cranberry notebook cover. It's quite a good size. I know someone will ask since I just had a Chic Sparrow here. I have a feeling the Chic Sparrow will be a little bit larger. Let's see. Yes, it is. The Shakespeare is on the bottom. And um, 
I'm moving it up just a little bit so that you can see that they're touching on this edge. And it's about a half an inch wider. And the Chic Sparrow is just about a half an inch or a quarter of an inch taller. So the Chic Sparrow is wider, but the Franklin Kristoff is taller. It's really nice. And this is a beautiful notebook that I've that's lasted me for a long time. But I was just looking for something a little bit different. Um, I know I said I'm going to be having a um, D stash um, that will be coming, but like even the box is really cute with their logo, the F. But there will be another video coming soon because I had something that I ordered in March finally arrive. It's June, the end of June, and um, they had a couple of deaths in the family, and and so and um, of course I ordered right after Monique had her sale for her um, you know her fancy ones that she does all of the artwork for, all of the the one that had like Marauders map and all of that stuff. She had just had a huge sale and, and got a huge number of orders, and then I placed my order right after that. So we'll have a we'll wait a, a week or so and. We'll get to see what is in here. Also, I need to figure out what I want to use it for because I just got this one. It'll probably be my planner for next year. Why this will be um, like more journaling and more creative. Um, I do have a planner in it. Um, but I haven't tried out this paper yet and I'm looking forward to seeing what this bamboo paper is like. So there we are. I will link uh, Franklin Kristoff down below and uh, where you can find the uh, pocket TN size of their traveler's notebooks. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I will see you in the next video. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.